What's up guys, welcome to Hang Dog Days. My name is Julian and today we're talking about how much it's gonna cost to do a through hike. So you wanna do a through hike, but you don't really know how much it's gonna cost. Well, hopefully I can help you with that, but I wanna separate two things. Actual gear that you're gonna need, backpack, shoes, trekking poles, tent, sleeping bag, and like what it's actually gonna cost a through hike. So we'll take that and separate it here, but really you should only be spending like $1,000 to $1,500, in my opinion, tops for that. I mean, you don't really need the latest and greatest, just do what's going to work for you. I've seen people use gear from the 70s and the latest and greatest, and really, they, they both made it. So do what works for you. So now we're going to talk about the three main things that suck money and that you need to think about. So first off, I'm only going to give advice. I can't really tell you what kind of hiker you're going to be or how much money you're going to spend because everybody is different things happen so i'll just give you kind of things to think about first off gear gear breaks on the trail trekking poles snap you know sleeping bags rip uh sleeping pads pop um you know you need bear canisters or like you lose your hat or shit gets stolen Ooh, so stash some money aside so that you can have money to spend on like a new set of trekking poles when that trekking pole snaps or shoes shoes three pairs of shoes it's like the average for everybody so have some money to replace gear when it breaks because a lot of times gear breaks. So just a heads up. The next thing, and this is major, this is something you should already be thinking about and that's resupplying. Depending on where you are, West Coast, East Coast, or the CDT, food's gonna be different. Food's gonna cost different. So like California will probably be more expensive than like a small town in Appalachian Trail, like where there's a Walmart, right? So keep that in mind and maybe supplement mailing yourself boxes from home or from cheaper places where you know that there's no walmart or there's no like inexpensive savers that will help you save money so think about your resupplies where you're going to be getting food and really plan those things now you don't want to be perfect and plan all the way through just have it in mind because money will fly out the window when you get to town and you're like oh i have to resupply and snickers bars are five dollars a piece right the biggest money suck that I know of are towns you know I don't care who you are you you come off the trail five days five six seven days you're ravished from just hiking up and down mountains so the what do you want you want pizza you want beer you want milkshakes so that is a thing that's gonna happen to you budget for it zero days you're gonna be spending time in town you know fixing your blisters and your knees like t take into account like what's gonna happen to you so Think about that and budget for it. So I personally will be taking about $5,000 on the Pacific Crest Trail. I tell everybody to budget maybe like $6,000. You're not gonna spend all that money, at least I don't think you would, but you might come home with money, which isn't the worst thing in the world. So you need to think about gear on the trail, resupplies, in towns, and remember, towns are the money sucks. So really think, what kind of hiker are you gonna be? Are you gonna be somebody who wants to like stay in town an extra night because there's a sweet band playing at the, the the pub, you know? Or you know, do you wanna you know hitchhike to another town because there's a, a party, or you wanna see friends, or what are you doing? What kind of hiker are you? So consider those things and plan accordingly. I hope this was helpful. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video.